According to our information, the ribbon is a conflux of temporal energy which travels through this galaxy every 39.1 years. It will pass through this sector in approximately 42 hours. Yes. Guinan was right. She said that Sodom was trying to get back to the ribbon. Now, if that's true, there has to be some connection with the Amagosa star. Data, give me a list of anything that was affected by the star's destruction, no matter how insignificant. Data? Sorry, sir. It will take the computer a few moments to compile the information. Data. You all right? No, sir. I am finding it difficult to concentrate. I believe I am overwhelmed with feelings of remorse and regret concerning my actions on the observatory. What do you mean? I wanted to save Jordy. But I experienced something I did not expect. Fear. I was afraid. According to our current information, the destruction of the Amargosa star has had the following effects in this sector. Gamma emissions have increased by 0.05%. The starship Bozeman was forced to make a course correction. Ambient magnetic fields... Wait. The Bozeman. Why would it make a course correction? The destruction of the Amargosa star has altered the gravitational forces throughout this sector. As a result, any ship passing through this region would have to make a minor course correction. A minor course correction? Where's the ribbon now? This is its current position. Can you project its course? Captain. I cannot continue with this investigation. I wish to be deactivated until Dr. Crusher can remove the emotion chip. Are you having some kind of malfunction? No, sir. I simply do not have the ability to control these emotions. I, I have nothing but sympathy for what you're feeling. But right now, I need you to... Sir, I no longer want these emotions. Deactivating me is the only viable solution. Part of having feelings is learning to integrate them into your life, Data. Learning to live with them. And them no matter Sir, what the circumstances... I cannot. You will not be deactivated. You're an officer on board this ship, and I require you to perform your duty. That is an order, Commander. Yes, sir. project the course of the ribbon. I believe so. Enhance grid 9A. Where was the Amagosa star? Now you said that when the Amagosa star was destroyed, it affected the gravitational forces in this sector. Now did the computer take that into account when it projected the course of the ribbon? No, sir. I will make the appropriate adjustments. That's what Sodom's doing. He's changing the course of the ribbon. But why? Why would, why would he try to change its path? Why doesn't he just fly into it with a ship? Our records show that every ship which has approached the ribbon has either been destroyed or severely damaged. He can't get to the ribbon. So he's trying to make the ribbon come to him. Data, does it pass near to any M-class planets? Yes, sir. There are two in the Viridian system. Well, it gets close to Viridian 3, but not close enough. Data, what would happen to the ribbon's course if Sauron destroyed the Viridian star itself? That's where he's going. 
It should be noted, sir, that the collapse of the Viridian star would produce a shockwave similar to the one we observed at Amagosa. Destroying all the planets in this system. Viridian 3 is uninhabited. However, Viridian 4 supports a pre-industrial humanoid society. Population? 230 million, sir. Got a great warfare, sir. Is it a course for the Viridian system? Maximum warp. 